Good morning. Today my topic, my company will be Uber Nepal. So what is Uber Nepal? Uber Nepal is a technology platform that connects drivers and passengers. It is everyone's private driver from endpoint at any time. Uber Nepal focuses on giving premium service to its customers at reasonable price. So how does this Uber work? Driver with their private cars joins Nepal Uber network and after the registration process they get access to the driver's app which will connect them to the passengers. Uh, the company charges around 20% commission on every ride and the rest 80% goes to the uh, driver. There are a wide range of Uber services ranging from economic to premium depending on what customer wants. So how Uber works is, 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 it works in a simple step. For the first step, they, the passenger makes a request. Uh, and in the second step, uh, matching where the driver accepts the request from the passenger. Step three is ride. And step four, payment via cash or card. And step five, reading. Reading is one of the most important steps uh, in Uber Nepal as it gives, um, it helps in uh, maintaining uh, service of Uber. The, here's a brief idea of how Uber app looks. It's simple as it is just a simple one touch code. You can just click and your drivers can automatically pick you up. So what's the reason to bring Uber in Nepal? It's very convenient as it's just a single tap application. It's always on and available 24-7 no matter where you are at what time. Uber Nepal will be available to you. It's alternated to the public transportation of Nepal. Uh, as we know that the um, public transportation of Nepal is not very good, the taxis especially. Even the uh, recent government policy has affected the public transportation. Uh, about 8,000 taxis in Bahmati zone are about 15 years old and are um, restricted to be from operating due to the pollution and everything. So um, the growing demand of taxi and the fall in number of taxi may um, give, it, give me the idea of bringing Uber Nepal to. Uh, it helps to fill the gap in the Nepalese market. There has also been complaints of uh, regarding poor professionalism and uh, civic sense in taxi drivers. So Uber Nepal will help fill that gap and give premium service to the Netflix market. Uh, uh, affordable everyday rides. It's going to charge a similar price to the uh, rate of taxi, only uh, depending on e economy to premium, what people want, they can try to go on that. The finance for the development of the application will be around 30000 for iOS application and 35000 for Android application. The details of the costs are given as follows. Uh, the total will be around $65,000 for the overall application development. And uh, about 40% will be bank financed, and the 60% will be personally financed. Um, the strength of SWOT analysis for this Uber. The strength will be low starting and operating cost as we don't need uh, private. We need. We don't need to buy uh, our own vehicles. The drivers will have their own private vehicle, uh, so there will be low starting price and operating cost. High standard service as uh, it's a premium service provided by Uber Nepal. Safety and transparency. This comes as the passenger. Uh, the app allows passenger to look at the right detail as to where they are going, the cost, the timing, everything, which is which become safe and everything is transparent. It's re reasonably priced and there's low competition in the market. Weakness is it's easily imitated. It can be easily co copied by other competitors. Uh, ethically questionable relation between company and the driver. The driver may not be loyal to the company and become a personal driver to the customer later if they talk it up. There is also privacy con con concern regarding the transparency of the application and lack of technology advancement in Nepal. There might be some issues with the 3G connection uh, use uh, as all the people are not aware about the technological advancement but 
most of them are aware nowadays. Opportunities alternate to the poor taxi service of Nepal. Uh, additional services such as Uber Eats, Uber Delivery, Uber Kids, and Uber Health. These are like um, Food Mandu, Delivery, like DHL. This will be the further expansion idea. Uh, job opportunities to the people of Nepal. This will provide both full-time and part-time part job for the uh, most of the people in Nepal. Threats, legal regulations. There have been some issues regarding the legal regulations of Uber in London, which has banned that um, application there. But that might be similar to, which might be the similar case in here in Nepal as well. But uh, there are also growing competition. This is an upcoming app, so there might be growing competition in the near future. And there, there have been some scandals and fraud cases of Uber abroad in countries, which might happen here as well.